Hey guys, this video is for February week one for our kindergarten through first grade team. Brand new month of February, super excited about it. Um, hopefully we have no more bad weather on the weekends and it's supposed to be like gorgeous and 60 this Sunday. So I am really looking forward to it. Well, this new month is all about service. That's our life app for the month, lending a hand to help someone else. And um, our memory verse for this new month is anyone who wants to be first must be the very last. They must be the servant of everyone. Mark 9, 35. And this week, our Bible story um, is all about Jesus washing the disciples' feet and serving the disciples. And our bottom line is serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So um, kids have this car ride conversation to take home for the week. Why should we serve others because of what Jesus did for us? Make sure all of your kids get one of these. These are for all the kids for each and every week. Um, so make sure you hand those out and that they all get a memory verse as well. Um, also going home this month is our little take home activity. It's a little service hat, kind of like what you would see at Steak and Shake and a little bag. And what we're doing is asking um, our elementary kids this month to bring in some canned goods for the Arnold Food Pantry. So all the kids will be going home with one of these. And if they come the following weeks in February, you can make sure that they get one of those to take home as well. And challenge your groups to bring them all back. Um, and let's get a huge line of food going to the Arnold Food Pantry. So jumping into this week, we would love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room for donuts. Um, we'll have some birthday shout outs, any announcements, pray for each other, celebrate with each other. And then before kids come, just taking a few minutes to ask that our kids, ask God that our kids would understand why we serve others because of what Jesus did for us and just how that can look in their lives. Then we'll be done with that by 8.30 and 10.30 to head back to your room to make sure everything is ready to go. As kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, uh, make sure you know everybody's name as they're coming in. Definitely help any first time guests to feel welcome that are coming to your group. And then um, you can play head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And um, you can go whisper or slow or act like you're underwater. Um, another option that you can do if you would want is you can have kids decorate their little service hats. Um, you could tell them we're going to start learning about service this month. Maybe they've seen someone wear one of those hats at a restaurant before. They can decorate that or you can do this at the end of service while you're waiting for parents. So you could do that before or after service. Either one, they can decorate those or you could play head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Um, then um, when service starts at 9 and 11, your interactivity, what you're going to do is I have one of these per room. So you have to huddle all the kids up in kindergarten, all the kids up in first grade, and you're going to read the foot book by Dr. Seuss. And um, as you go, you're just going to keep interest high by guiding kids to stomp their feet every time they say left foot, right foot. Um, you can also show them slow feet, quick feet, trick feet, sick feet while staying in place. So then you'll close it down by saying, whoo, that was a lot of feet, guys. Do you ever have fuzzy fur feet or low feet or high feet? Um, do you ever have wet feet or dirty feet? Well, in our Bible story today, we're going to hear about a time when some people had dirty feet, then wet feet, and finally dry feet. So let's go learn more. So then you'll head over to Large Group. We have live storyteller and host this week. It's going to be a great lesson about um, serving others and how Jesus did that for us. When you get back to your small groups at 940 and 1140, you're going to have your kids sit in the circle and you're, you're going to show them these two dice. I'll show you in a second. And one dice shows who we can serve and the other one shows how we can serve. So these will be made into dice, but these are your who we could serve and this is your how we could serve. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to invite two kids to roll the dice at the same time and identify the pictures that they rolled. Then encourage the group to brainstorm some ways that they could serve that person with that item. And maybe ask them questions if they're stuck like, oh, could you do this? So you'll close it down by saying, guys, being kind to people who, um, I'm sorry, being kind to people who need friends, helping people when they're sick or doing jobs we might not like are all great ways we can serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So then make it personal. Tell kids about how you could serve someone this week, what's your plan to serve someone, and who is someone you could serve this week, and how can you serve them? And then you can show them this hat and say, you can maybe even put on this hat while you're serving them so that telling them that you're being just like Jesus. And remember, guys, we're going to serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So then for our memory verse activity, um, you're going to help kids look up the brand new memory verse in their Bibles. You can use these tips below. 
And then you're going to unpack the truth that being a servant of everyone means that we should always be willing to help anyone, anywhere, even if it means doing something that we don't like to do. So you'll have the kids sit in a circle and um, you have a washcloth on your cart. So you're going to give one child the washcloth and have that child pass it around the circle as you begin to play music. And you can just play music off your phone. You can go on YouTube or any music that you might have on your phone. And then as kids pass the washcloth, you're going to have them say, be the servant of everyone, one word at a time. So then stop the music when a child says everyone and encourage that child to name somebody that they could serve this week. So that's going around, be the servant of everyone. Stop the music, see who they could serve. And then you'll just close it down by saying, so guys, instead of having a servant wash his friend's feet, Jesus took off his outer coat, wrapped a towel around his waist, knelt down, and washed his friend's feet himself. Jesus loved his friends so much that he was willing to do anything for them. And you know what? We can serve others because of how Jesus served us. And sometimes we might serve others by doing things that we don't like to do, like picking up trash or setting the table or doing the dishes or even being nice to somebody who's being mean to us. But that's the example that Jesus gave us. So the thing to remember this week is serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So then to close down a prayer, you're just going to have kids gather around you and you're going to lead them in this rhythm where you go left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet? Sorry, I meant to show my feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet? And they can stand up and do that while they stop. That's what it looks like. So you repeat it a couple of times and then you can say, okay, let's say it really quiet now. Or let's say it really slow, left foot, right foot. And you're going to bring the energy down by having kids shrink and get quieter and quieter. And then you'll use this little conversation below to pray. So you'll say, wow, guys, every day you meet so many feet, family feet, friend feet, classmate feet, neighbor feet. And you know what? Every pair of feet is someone that you can serve. You could serve your family and your friends and your classmates, your neighbors. You can serve everyone. So this week, remember how Jesus served his disciples by washing their feet. And remember to serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So let's pray. Then you can close down in prayer. And just as adults arrive, encourage kids to t tell their parents one way that they could serve others this week. So that's it. Make sure that all your kids leave with a little hat and a bag um, for their service project for the month. Also, a memory verse card they can put into their bag and their car ride conversation to take home. Thank you guys so much for serving and being small group leaders. I hope to see you at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room for some donuts and coffee and just some time to huddle up and pray together. So grateful for all of you. I hope you stay warm in this freezing cold weather and we'll see you on our bright, sunny, warm Sunday. See you guys then. Bye-bye.